Hey everyone, thanks for joining me in this video. I wanted to talk about EDC pouches and mole pouches for organization. So you can organize your bug out bag, get home bag and stuff like that. So without sounding too much like a commercial, I purchased everything here and all of these different EDCs and pouches are under $20. They come in multiple colors. I'll put a link down below for everything here. Um, if you want to know some different stuff about them. I physically have them here. So go check a link if there was something here you were kind of thinking about. You can hit me up with questions. Please put them down below and that way I can answer them for you and then everybody could see if you had any questions on any of these. But I'll, I'll run through them and I'll give you some of my opinion on what I think they're good for and what I use them for. So to start with, I'll, go, I'll start with this pouch right here because when I got out of the military, um, you know, I wanted to get that bug out bag and start setting all my stuff up. So I didn't have a lot of money and everything, but I got myself a backpack. And then what I did was I got some pretty decent, strong Ziploc baggies. And then I got, you know, my waterproof matches and just, you know, started putting some stuff in it. And, and I started making up my, you know, my bug out bag. And that's how I started. Nothing big. If you have any questions or need some help setting up your stuff, if you're new or, or want to know, hit me up. Let me know. No problem. But all of this, I carry every day. This is my little everyday carry bag. And I have two of these Ziploc bags. And what it does is it keeps all my stuff watertight. And I'm able to grab this and put it into different uh, backpacks, everyday carry bags, my day bag. If I'm going out on a hike with my dog and we're just heading out, I can just grab these and throw them in that backpack for the day and stuff. So I like to keep my two bags like this and then I started getting more organized so I started picking up pouches so now as you can see everything fits into here and why I found these which was cool was for $15 you get two two of these pouches so I carry two Ziploc baggies and they both fit into both these pouches perfect worked out great for me and that's how I ended up getting these so they come in different colors I think everything here comes in different colors this, this is a great bag for organization. You can organize your stuff. It has the mesh netting back here with a pocket pouch on that side. And then you have just your big compartment here. As you can see, you can fit quite a bit in it. it it's mole system. It uses the webbing so you can attach it if you wanted to. You could be attached to a rucksack, chest rig or something. Uh, utility belt, battle belt. It has the Velcro on the front so you can put some name tags or morale patches. I'm, I'm working on some little stuff to, so I know to organize my stuff a little bit more and that. And like I said, pretty good. These are no, no um, stitching's coming out. Everything's working good. Zippers are good. Oh, and I like it because it has two zippers. I, I always big fan of the two zippers. When I was in the military, uh, one of my gear had two zippers and one of the zippers gummed all up and got stuck and broken. I got it to one side and then the other one was still able to open and close my stuff. So I've just been a big fan of the double redundancy, two zippers when I can get them. I like it. It's just that way. Um, this pouch is about four and a half tall by almost seven wide, a couple inches deep. But you can pick up a couple of these for organizing your gear. And that's what I would use these for. And right now I have four. I'm organizing. I'm setting up some stuff. Maybe in another video I'll show you guys some stuff. Um, so pretty good. Recommend it. Uh, the other thing, you could, if you were on a budget, and or say you're just trying to set up you and you know your wife's for a little EDC bag or maybe a couple car bags, this could work. You could put a little multi-tool in here, a flashlight, knife, a few little things, emergency type stuff, and then you're getting two of them. Put one in each one of your car, glove box or something. A lot of ideas, a lot of things you can do with these. I think these are really good, as you can see, I have several of them. The next... Uh, mole pouch that was just be a pouch. I picked up one of these guys and this is good for a little bit bigger items. Like you could just put a good size item in here. There's there's no pouches or anything inside. Nothing like that. Uh, the only thing, one zipper. It's, it's alright, but one zipper. But it has the snaps. You can attach it. So that way you can put this mole system on you know, chest rigs and, and different stuff or on the outside of your you know, rucksack or whatever. Um, this one measures eight inches tall by four and a half wide and you can you can fit a ton of stuff in here but not very good for EDC or anything like that this would just be a good organized you know organizer pouch 
you can just organize your stuff on that one. Uh, something else that I use that's uh, this is this is a uh, for a mag pouch for dumping your magazines when they're empty in it so you don't lose them and you can you know reload them or whatever. So most people are you know familiar with that. So I keep a mag pouch on my everyday carry and my day pack. So when I'm out with my dog and stuff, I put a, a plastic bag in here and <laughs> most of the time I simply use it as a little trash can because when we're hiking or we're pretty far away, there's no trash cans, there's nothing. And I, I don't litter and I don't do stuff like that. I pack everything back out with me. So I've been throwing everything in here and this is on my back of my, my day packs and stuff. And then when I get to a receptacle, a trash can, I throw my stuff away. Now, if, you know, something bad did happen or whatever, I have it for my magazines. I'm going to throw them in there, of course. But these are pretty good. These are great little organizers. You get a pouch on this side. You get a Velcro pull pouch on here. And you get another one over here. And it's the snaps and everything to hang it on the mole type deal here. So these are really good. But I was just, you know, kind of telling you what I use it for most of the time. So you have six by about seven. And they're pretty, they're kind of more round. So four and a half, five inches across. Just works as a little utility pouch too. So just put that out there. So some of the, some of the EDC bags I picked up. So this little guy was pretty cheap. Got it, you know, back in the day to try out. My Samsung phone just fits in there, no problem. If you had an iPhone, I'm sure it would fit great. So you can get your phone in here. You can get your pin in there. It has a pouch inside here and a second pouch there. And then here you have a second pouch with another little pouch. So it gives you a lot for organizing, not bad. Um, it's, it's about six and a half tall. Almost five wide, good, good little, good little pouch. Has the, the snaps and that, so you can add it or attach it to stuff. Good little organizer for putting it on your chest rig or adding it to your, you know outside your bag if you wanted to. Um, it doesn't have double zippers; they're just singles, but not bad. So that one's out there. Uh, another one. This one and this one's pretty good. It, it's a little bit bigger though. This one is almost seven by five it can hold larger phones so you can drop other phones in there no problem or you know this can go quite a bit higher you can put morale patches different things on the front here no problem it has double zippers which is nice like i was saying i always like the double zippers when i can get them it, the whole front drops open and you got a couple extra little holders in here plus this pouch here and another one there and then in the back, you have another pouch that double open, big compartment there, little compartment back there. You could put, you can put some stuff on the side if you have clips, so you can drop a flashlight maybe on this side, your, your pin on that side, things like that. This one's pretty good. Comes in different colors, has a snap, so you can add it to your bags or pouches. I'll put a link in the description below on this one. This one's pretty good, I like it. And then right now, I have this one just set up and same thing. Um, so this one has even more little compartments and things like that. It has an actual system in the front where you could drop credit cards, IDs, or different things. If it's, you know, bug out or things like that, no, no, you probably wouldn't worry too much about that. But if it's a natural disaster and you're just heading to go get help or head to, you know, a checkpoint or, or a border crossing or something like that, you know, some IDs or something, you might need it for a scenario like that. But these are pretty nice. Uh, I'm able to carry, I carry a utility blade. I have a video on that. It's just because I always have and the ability of usually getting a razor blade and keeping an always sharp knife is awesome. I have my flashlight. And then this is cool. I have a video on this, but I use USB for recharging because I have a little solar panel and then I have USB battery backup battery banks for charging my cell phones and things, which then can charge all my flashlights, things like that. Um, but I do always carry, you know, a pocket knife, an actual blade too, if I'm if I'm out. So it has that. There's another Velcro or, and um, elastic band back there for holding more stuff. Your pin can go on there nicely. You got another piece on this side. Double zippers. 
like I said, big fan of that. This compartment opens very big. It has a little compartment down here, so you can drop stuff back here. A little utility knife with different type options. And as a backup, I have this. This is the Mossy Oak. I have it as a spare, so we'll see how that one does. I'll let you know or, or try it out a little more. I haven't tried it much, so I haven't done a video on it yet. But So this one's a good little pouch. And, and right now I, I have my stuff set up in this one at the moment. And then, of course, most people know about, oh, sorry, real quick, the size. Uh, four wide by six and a half tall, a couple inches deep. So any, qu any questions on any of this? If you go to the links and you're not really sure or have questions, I have them here. I can answer them for you. Put it in the comments so then that way I can answer them and maybe that'll answer it for other people. Or if I miss stuff while I'm going through it, let me know. Uh, most people know about these, the first aid kits. So you can pick these up. They're not they're under 20 bucks, but they're great for organizers. They don't have to just be first aid kits. You can drop in flashlights, knives, gear. They're great, you know, snaps on the back. So it's perfect. Double zippers to drop down the sides if you want. So Great for organizers too, not just first aid kits. Measures five wide by uh, seven and a half tall, and they're deep. These, these guys are really deep when you put everything in there, five inches deep. Um, just not sure if I covered it, I'm just thinking about it. This one has the snaps on the back too, by the way, on that one, just, just in case I didn't cover that. And then snaps on the back, so you can add these to the outside stuff. So that's just some of the stuff I have. I have the next size up gear. I'll do another video so I don't take up too much more time on such a long video. Um, thank you for watching to the end. If you'd like to see more videos, please support my channel by subscribing and sharing my videos. That would help me to grow my channel. Thank you very much.